Pull up, took the blame in interviews and made it look like I was tripping. Made the drink a song, lied to the world while trying to protect her image. I told y'all, I did I tell y'all, y'all ain't want to believe me. My fourth video, I keep telling y'all motherfuckers. Y'all ain't want to believe me. Kevin Gates just dropped a new song. Say when he made that drinker song, he just did that and lied to the world to protect her image. But really, she was the one on the bullshit and he made everybody else think he was tripping. Yeah. Yeah. When y'all gonna believe music one on one nine? Yeah. You stinking motherfuckers. All y'all in my comments talking about they ain't broke up and they ain't this and they ain't that and I don't know what I'm talking about. I told y'all I do this shit. I do this shit. I know this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Motherfuckers. Now watch all these videos. I'm finna post them right now. I kept telling y'all for a whole fucking year, man, that they wasn't together. Something was going on. They wasn't together. Y'all kept doubting me. All y'all that doubted me, unsubscribe right now. I don't even want you a part of my clique, a part of my gang, whatever you want to call it, a part of my family. I don't even want y'all a part of the family. I kept telling y'all, I say, Kevin Gates and Drika is no longer together. I told y'all that six months ago. The man kept trying to subliminally tell y'all. He been talking about a bitch cheating on him for the past two years and every other mixtape he dropped. Every other album, it's a song on there talking about a bitch cheating on him. He only went one motherfucker. So who is the one that cheated on him? Y'all ain't never peep it. I peeped it. But I never came out and spoke no ill towards Drinker because he never said Drinker. Because rappers do, rappers do talk about old shit like it's, 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 it's happening right now. Like it happened right now. You feel me? So I gave her the benefit of the doubt that he's speaking on old situations. Somebody even asked me one day. Why he always talking about a bitch cheating on her? I thought Drinker was this and that. You know what I'm saying? And I and I said to myself, maybe he's speaking on old situations and he just making it seem like it's a new thing. Because that's what rappers do. Rappers are talking about how they posted up on the block. Ain't been posted up on the motherfucking block for years. Years. That's what rappers do. They they rap about shit that happened a long time ago. That's old. You feel me? That was exciting to them. Or a side of time in their life. You feel me, gang? Nah. Y'all owe me an apology. And I ain't fucking with y'all until I get my apology. Because y'all owe me a real apology. Because I've been telling y'all, little dirty fuckers, that they was going through it. They went together. And y'all kept telling me, I don't know what I'm talking about. And I've been pleading with y'all. I got some, man, listen, some some of y'all uh, messages and comments, I just be deleting them bitches because I be like, I can't even keep going back and forth with you motherfuckers. You stacking motherfuckers. Yeah. Hey. I'm, hey, I'm turned up right now. And listen, I ain't happy that they not together because I'm a Kevin Gates fan. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm bigger than a Kevin Gates fan. I'm a BWA movement breadwinner gang fan. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's shit that I know about BWA before I even start doing YouTube. And I'm thinking about going back and doing them old, talk about them old current events that happen. You feel me? That I know y'all don't know about. Y'all don't know about he owned the daycare. Y'all probably know he owned the daycare, but y'all don't know that his daycare got kicked in, the feds raided it, and they were selling drugs out the daycare, and two people, yeah, 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 two, three, four, five motherfuckers went to jail for selling the drugs out the daycare that he owned, yeah, y'all, it's a lot of shit y'all don't know, that y'all don't know, that, uh, what's that song, uh, fuck, La Familia, y'all don't know 
it's people that was in that video a lot familiar that got indicted because they reenacted uh oh they reenacted a certain scene well, one of the people they was beefing with got killed the same way and they got indicted and went to jail for that for that video La Familia. It's a lot of shit y'all don't know. You feel me? But I don't be really wanting because you know what I'm saying? I ain't got time to argue with you, mother. Ooh. But I've been telling y'all from day one, I know what I'm talking about. This music 101, not 102, not 103, not 154 and 3. This is music 101. This means, bitch, we, I'm 101 with you. I know what I'm talking about. And I ain't speaking on it if I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I ain't happy that they broke up. I'm just excited that I was right and I'm proving all y'all wrong. Anybody that know me know. I love to prove a motherfucker wrong. Especially when it comes to music. Begging in my city ain't easy. I do it for the fam, I'm by my peeps, yeah. You niggas out here snakes and you so creep, yeah. I say begging in my city ain't easy. Begging in my city ain't easy. I do it for the fam, I'm by my peeps, yeah. Yeah. You niggas out here snakes and these so green, yeah. I say thuggin' in my city ain't easy.